Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today we're talking about psych wards, but more specifically how they are not holidays. This video was suggested to me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's here, link is on the iCard. I post on my stories, I ask for questions for Q&A's on there, and if you want to get to know me better it's probably the best place to go, next to Twitter, or X. I'm never going to call it X, but Twitter's probably the best place you can get to know me, Instagram if you want to contribute more to videos, or my Patreon if you want to get your name at a shout out at the end of every video. So yes, let's get into this video. Psych wards. Where do we start? On TikTok, you see a lot of people impatient. Given I also posted on TikTok when I was in psych wards, and I posted it on YouTube when I was in psych wards, I do understand the need to, the want and desire to post while in psych wards. It's something to do. Because psych wards, especially here in the UK, are very boring. A lot of the time, you don't have leave, so you can't go out. You're not allowed to have cables. TikTok is extremely toxic for mental health. It's turned into a competition. Now, I did make a video called It's Not a Competition. The reason I think people get so competitive when they're in psych wards is because there's different levels of care. There's acute wards, PICU, psychiatric intensive care, low secure, medium secure. It just gets competitive at people wanting to be on one to one, two to one, three to one, four to one, a million to one. Some of the videos on TikTok that you see are just glamorising being in hospital, which how do you even glamorise a psych ward? You literally lose your rights as a human being. Psych wards aren't glamorous. They're not a grippy sort of vacation. They're not somewhere you can, they're not somewhere you can go to get a break. I had that comment once and I made a video. Hehe. <laughs> I made over 650 videos, so chances are I've already made a video on it. <laughs> psych wards are traumatic, being honest. I've never come out of an admission without added trauma, even as an informal patient. One thing I'll never understand is why people want to go into a psych ward. I remember the first time I was sectioned, I was 13, and police literally had to drag me out the house because I didn't want to go and I'd never been to a psych ward before I was scared because of what I'd seen on YouTube and I feel like that's exactly how you should feel when you're going to a psych ward because they're loud and volatile I've literally had my hair pulled down by a patient before Psych wards are just, well, hard. It's hard being in a psych ward. It's overstimulating. It's emotional tolls on you. And it's just not good. Nothing good comes out of a psych ward. Given a psych ward did save my life by getting me back on the right medication. And I'm very grateful for that. But that doesn't change the fact that I've literally been overdosed in a hospital. Made a video on that. I've been abused in hospital. Just a lot of shit has gone down in hospitals. Some people are aggressive and violent and you have nowhere to go to get away from them. Other than your room, which you can't lock. So, if you're in a psych ward, and you post on TikTok. Please think about what you're posting. Because you don't want to glamorise a hospital. Don't be that person. And that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching and if you're new, subscribe. Peace.